<sighs> oh, what the fuck? All right, security's security lights fucking out. Thank God. Jeez. Like I tore this apart, right? Thinking, you know, um, I'm actually not sure. I needed to get to the ignition because uh, I thought I was going to be able to pick it over. You know, I mean. Oh God damn it! There we go. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I thought, like, you know, maybe I'd do something with it, and uh, nope. I ended up progressing the key uh, from the door. The door had six, no, five, five through 10, five through 10. Did it have five through 10? It was a uh, four, two, four, two, two. So I had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six through 10, okay? And I had uh, to progress a lot of keys. And you know, it's a single sided ignition, which means there's only moving parts on the bottom side. Come on, zoom. I'm wearing gloves. There we go. And it's not sensing my hand. There's only uh, moving components on the bottom. So you only have to cut one side of the key. And so the first key option had like six different potentialities. And uh, I just carved it away on one side. Then the next, you know, second key option, you just cut it on the uh, the other side. And you use one key to, to progress through, to progress through two key possibilities. That's, that's kind of dope. But um, yeah, this was just kind of interrogating it. Uh, this is a two right here. And I have very few VATS keys and it actually turns out, I think I just found a two uh, earlier. Let me see here. Come on. I am no good in gloves. I don't know how people do gloves. Uh, yeah, here's a two. So the question is, do I bypass it or keep it original? I don't know. It's a Corvette. Probably keep it original. But, you know, you can do that to interrogate it. You see, I ran through a couple different options. Um, just throw all this shit in here that I do not need. This is the actual uh, part that reads the uh, the resistor on the key, as you can see. There's uh, copper contacts and stuff to, uh, you know, get an ohm measurement, a resistance uh, value or measurement to ensure that it it's within the scope of range because it's not a perfect, you know, read every time there's, there's tolerances. And so this, uh, this right here, I could technically unplug my resistors. <laughs> like so you see that they just you know you just you twist values together you and they add up they don't multiply or anything like that in, in a series they add up you know this plus this plus this equals two the two value and I just um, I put little loops at the end and you can push them right in to the uh, the connector and interrogate your system. You don't need an expensive interrogator for vats. <clears throat> this is the same as this little pellet inside there. What it actually is, is a piece of a uh, conductive metal with a resistor going across like this, like a bridge. So whenever you put it in, <sighs> electrical continuity passes from one side to the other and it takes a, a measurement through the wires travels all the way down to the car's BCM and it uh it's like do I have the right resistance value I do and I'm good to go so yeah I'll plug this back in or uh bypass it I'll talk to the owner uh, he hasn't driven this car for like two years maybe it's not bad looking and when I interrogate cars that have been sitting for a long time I always put the hazards on excuse me I'm kind of sick today <clears throat> But I always put the hazards on so I can make sure that the connection from my battery to his is good. So it'll, it, it, it mitigates risk, you know, uh, risk of failure. You know, we want to make sure there's good 
electrical, you know, uh, good voltage through the entire vehicle as we interrogate it because it's, uh, this is uh, an electronic or resistance, you know, protected system. Ohmage, baby. Ohm. And so it all depends on the way electricity is uh, passed from one wire through the, uh, the key to another wire, which is sent down and measured, you know. So uh, electricity, fuck yeah, figuring that shit out. And like seven years ago, I didn't know any of this stuff. Let's see this guy right here. Let's get him out. I don't like the way the wires co uh, coil around. It's definitely better than the older vats that have the really fragile orange wires. But uh, yeah, I just, this cap is a joke. I stuck a uh, just a flathead behind, you know, uh, right in there. Stuck a flathead behind the uh, the lip of the, the cap and just went right off, super easy. And this pulled off with no problem either. So, anywho, fucking done. It's crazy. I people, there's locksmiths that don't do these cars, and I make 300 bucks or less or more. It just depends. And um, you know, this is a uh, this is a Corvette. No other locksmith in town wanted to touch it. I was the only guy, and I ate like maybe maybe one and a half dollars in in brass. You know, progressing the ignition, and I ate nothing else except my time. Uh-oh. What do I do with the... Oh, I went and moved shit, didn't I? There's my resistors. I was like, oh boy. Yeah. So anywho, I'm done. Bye.